Hello. So scientist in you, this is our series and uh, the first one I am going to talk about the software engineering. I am a Microsoft most valuable professional, you can check it in Microsoft site about my profile. So software engineering, software engineering is nothing but uh, creating an efficient software and it should be reliable and apart from that it can have an efficiency towards uh, working with the real machines. That's how your software engineering should be designed. So the principles used in designing an economical software. So if you talk about uh, the software development life cycle, so to create the software we have to follow this life cycle. So here is the process, I need to plan it first. So once after planning it, uh, we need to go for the recommends gathering. So recommends gathering in the sense, uh, we will be collecting all the recommends from the customer. After getting the recommends from the customer, we'll be going with uh, designing the functionalities. So after designing it, we'll go for implementations. After implementation, test the product and give it to the customer. If there is any changes, we'll go with the maintenance phase. So further moving or detailing about the software development life cycle, I'll be doing a lot of communications for getting the recommends gathering. And afterwards, we'll design it and a planning process and modeling process. And afterwards, we'll be developing, reviewing and finalizing the product. That's your construction. And give it to the customer, publishing it. That's deployment. Further moving, let me tell you a practical thing with your hardware. So see, things like for the hardware, I need to get out the requirements. So where we are going to use it, how we are going to use it and everything. That's your system requirements. Followed by the system design, like uh, what is the output and what is the input and other stuffs as your system design. And the next phase is software requirements where we are going to finalize what are the parts involved. You are able to see the piston here and you got the meters and you got your yes, uh, kind of a pulley or something like that here. And apart from the gas cylinder and this is how the detailed requirements of what we want to do or to get the output. And afterwards, we will make a preliminary design like uh, this is how the starting point is and uh, it is integrated with these parts. So the preliminary design is done and afterwards a detailed design of uh, how the data should be. If there is a change, automatically there is a change in value. If there is a change here, automatically there is a change in a value. A detailed design of how the product should be. And afterwards, I will make coding part and test it. And afterwards, we'll integrate the parts. And once again, we'll test it overall. And we got the output. We'll deliver to the customer. The same thing will be followed in the software development lifecycle. So what is the machine? And uh, how much hard disk and everything I need to get it out? And what is the design? Input and output in everything we need to fetch it out? And which software we are using it to create your own software? Maybe a hospital management system or something like that. And afterwards, a preliminary design like a, what is the forms and everything we need to design. For example, hospital management system should have a login page, um, maybe a doctor page, maybe a patient page or something like that. And a detailed design like a, what are the controls we are looking. For example, login page should have a username and password or something like that. A detailed design followed by coding the things. So I'll be coding it, testing it whether it's working or not integrating everything for example i got my login page and my inbox page once if the user is logged in you should be logged in into the inbox so the integration part so everything i'll be testing it and finally the product is released to the customer this is how the practical implementations will be let's move on to the typical examples and uh, some of the important questions in software engineering what is software it's a set of programs so based on customer requirement i'll be developing a software and if we talk about the attributes of good software so obviously it should have the functionality so functionally it should good it should be good maintainable dependable and it is really useful and if we talk about the software engineering to develop the software we need a engineering concept that's your software engineering the aspects of software production if we talk about the difference between the software engineering and computer science, computer science is nothing but the theories and fundamentals. It's a big concept. Under computer science, we need software engineering. That's 
a co-part in developing the software. What is the difference between software engineering and system engineering? System engineering is nothing but developing or related to the hardware, a computer-based system, including hardware. Whereas the software engineering is nothing but to develop the software. So that's it. So if we talk about the importance of software engineering, these are the areas we need to focus. One is maintainability. So we are able to maintain it. So if we need any changes, we can do it immediately. Dependability and security. So how we are going to maintain the security? If there is an invalid user, you should not logged in. Efficiency. How much it is efficient? The responsiveness time, processing time, memory utilization. So everything comes to the efficiency and uh, acceptability. Like if we should accept it like it's an understandable format so login page it should have a detailed login page with all the details once if you click it we'll go to the next page and on seeing the next page I should understand so that's your acceptability ruining once again the software development life cycle so the initial thing is like uh, I'm able to plan it so go to the customer get the requirement what is the plan where you're going to use it who's the target audience everything that's your planning and what is the software and everything and afterwards I'll design it like uh, considering a Gmail I need a login page with username and password submit button cancel button and the next page is inbox page with my, e my emails and everything that's your design followed by your development phase where you'll be doing the coding part and uh, testing it whether it's good or not so and, and finally I'll give it to the customer that's deployment so the so customer will be happy and if there is any changes it will be coming under maintenance phase so these are my awards and uh, this is my international certifications I have done and uh, these are my expertise area on software, electronics and mechanical area on civil. So it's my contact number you can whatsapp your details so that we will send frequent videos to you and apart from that this is my email id and uh, my profile and everything here and my personal request please share this to your friends. Thank you.